Welcome to Keys to Success. On this show, we will motivate, educate, and entertain you. Now, here's your host, Mr. Kirk Clark. Good evening and welcome to Keys to Success. This is Kirk. And tonight, yes, 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 I'm excited about tonight's program. We will be touching a little bit more on telephone etiquette, the power of the telephone, the new book that I've gotten out. Thank you for the people who so far supported it. Um, thank you for the people in Burbies who would have started to buy some of the books. And, of course, um, Pastor Harris, some of the teams, thank you guys for supporting. Uh, Mr. Pillu, thank you so much for starting to support the books and everything. It's, it's running well, and I thank you guys about the telephone. Um, we would have got, we would have done training a lot with some of the hotels, hotel industry, some of the offices, call centers, different set, sets and sets and sets of people. Um, but one of the things we look at, why is this program necessary? Why is it important? The one thing again is your professional approach to things. And a lot of people take that for granted. All right. So here what we do. We'll touch a lot more when we come back right after these messages. For the best commercial signage and so much more, call Fast Graphics on 225-1099 or 622-7113. If you'd like to change the look of your car, why not wrap it? Call 225-1099 or 622-7113. Why not put your business on a banner stand and showcase all that you can? Call us today on 225-1099 or 622-7113 Fast Graphics located at 28 Railroad Line Kitty Call us today 225-1099 or 622-7113 Giddens Payday Pawn Shop the pioneer in the pawning business is back on Rob Street and Giddens is paying you the highest value for your gold jewelry Just bring your jewelry into Giddens and get cash Interest rates are reduced to 20% during this promotional period. Visit the new branch at 37 Rob Street next door to Eagles or call 227-7317. Giddens, the most trusted name in the pawning business. A name you can rely on. Call 231-8600, 231-8601, for the service that is better than all the rest. Call Confidential Gap, 231-8600, 231-8601, 231 Confidential Gaps, where safety comes first. Welcome back to Keys to Success. Tonight, I would want to gear the program. I want to be able to gear this program to reach the hotel industry. That's my contribution towards Guyana and the hotel industry. So what we're talking about specifically are the people on the front desk. Front desk hotel persons answering and receiving, sending and receiving calls, even sometimes in the rush hours, how to be able to handle that call and the callers that comes in, even when the front desk is full with people. So... We're going to be dealing, I'm not sure if we'll be able to cover everything on this show tonight, but of course, keep logging on, um, subscribe, and if you're interested in training, our email is our email address is at the bottom of the screen. Make sure you send me that email, and we'll take it from there. We can make contact with you from there, and we can come into your office. For persons who are interested in training in customer service, um, well, again, telephone etiquette, team building, leadership, goal setting, and a whole variety, a whole gamut of training. We can help that, and we can facilitate you with that. And, of course, I want to be able to, again, once again, on the show to commend Action Coach for the training they're doing. Confidential Cab stands. Thank you very much for standing with us. Um, get in spade a pawn shop. Thumbs up to you guys. And, of course, to get your graphics in a professional way, only one place you need to go, and that's Fast Graphics. All right? Um... 
Orlando and his team is there and they're ready to work with you, help you, and make sure that you bring out that professional approach and that look towards things. So again, thanks a million guys. And of course, the haircuts are coming compliments of Eric. Yep, um, and that is Ambition's Sear Studios. He actually do the cuts of my hair and give me the clean look that I'm looking. I'm not that good looking without Eric. Eric is my key guy that helps me to keep looking good. So anyway, let's go for a quick commercial break when we come back. We're going to do so much on the show tonight. Although a front desk associate is featured in this video, the basic phone courtesy skills in this video apply to any hospitality employee answering the phone. Thank you for calling the Mayfield Inn. This is Melanie. How may I help you? Room 210. And may I ask the name of the party you would like to reach? Thank you. I'll connect you to Mr. Clark's room now. If there's no answer, stay on the line and the call will return to me so you may leave a message if you like. You're welcome. Thanks for calling. How do you do it? You've answered like 50 phone calls today and yet you make every one of them sound like it's the first one today. How do you keep it fresh? Well, I really... And don't just tell me it's your job. I know we're supposed to be courteous and all, but saying it and meaning it, well, there's a difference. That's a secret. I do mean it, but trust me, it wasn't always like this. When I first started, I had a whole different attitude. Look at that outfit. Oh my God, I would never wear that. That is so funny. Hey, listen, um, what do you want to do for lunch today? I think I'm going to take it. Yeah, uh, can you hold on for a second? Somebody's calling. Hi, and welcome. Uh, you, you know what? I'm going to have to put you on hold. So, um, I'm Put the phone down. Ma'am, courtesy police, please put the phone down. You're in violation of the telephone courtesy code 4.31A. Gross negligence and disrespect to the caller. What's gonna happen to me? Courtesy training, 30 days. 30 days? Answer the phone promptly, within three rings if possible. This is a sign of respect to the caller or the potential customer. Thank you for calling the Mayfield Inn. This is Melanie. How may I help you? That's so much better. Thank you for calling. This is Melanie. How may I help you? No, no, no. Y you gotta watch your tone on the phone. Put some alive in your jive, some fresh in your breath. Look at this chart. Face to face, 55% of your communication is based on body language, 38% through your tone of voice, and 7% through your actual words. But on the telephone, 83% of your communication is based on your tone of voice and only 17% for your actual words. So smile when you talk, be enthusiastic. It's contagious. They will feel it and you will feel it. And if you don't, fake it till you make it. Keep smiling and being up. One day will come and you won't even have to try. You'll feel it too. The happy muscles just take over. It makes everyone's day better including your own. So are we smiling yet? Mm, we'll work on it. Thank you for calling the Mayfield Inn. This is Melanie. How may I help you? That's perfect. Yes, we do have those dates available. Yes, we do have those dates available. Who? Yes, we do have those dates available. You? Ask for the caller's name if they don't provide it, and use it as soon as you know it. Everyone likes their name remembered, don't you, miss, miss? May I ask who's calling? Yes, we do have those dates available, Miss Watkins. It's coming to me. Don't tell me. I'll, I'll get it.
Well, yeah, we got a game room, Mr. Clark. Yeah, right. Well, yeah, we gotta. Yeah, right. What kind of language is that? Not good. Speak clearly and properly. No slang. And when possible, counter a negative with a positive. No, I'm sorry, Mr. Clark. We don't have a game room for the kids. But we do have a very large pool. I've got your res number, Mr. Clark. Whoa, your res number? What's that, a small funny hat or something? A reservation number. Then why didn't you say that? I say it 50 times a day. I was just trying to save time. It won't save you time if you use terms that your caller doesn't understand. Let me confo your res. It'll just confuse them. OK, Mr. Clark, do you have a pen? I'm going to give you your reservation number. Just give this number at the front desk when you check in. Sometimes a shortcut takes a long time to explain. So no insider jargon. We have that room with either two double beds or a king size bed, Mr. Appleby. Two doubles or a king bed, huh? If you speak in a monotone like that, either way it won't matter because I'm going to sleep. It vary her tone, sound interesting. That room features two double beds, but how about a king size? Now I'm paying attention, now I'm interested in what you're saying because you don't sound like a zombie. Remember to keep it alive. And if you book right now, we can offer a special 10% discount rate and that includes a continental. Stop. What's this? It's a speeding ticket. Slow down, NASCAR woman. This isn't a race. You want to be understood. Keep a steady pace, not too loud and not too soft. Mm -hmm. No smoking, no doing your nails, no shuffling papers, and no gum. Be alone with the phone. Stay focused. Give the call your undivided attention. Mr. Trent, that's not what you first requested. Never interrupt the caller. Let them finish their sentence, their thought. They're making a decision. Sometimes people think out loud. Let them finish, then make your point or suggestion. Listen actively. That means respond to what you hear. Yes, I understand, Mr. Trent. That's no problem. We'll do our best to put you in connecting rooms. Is there anything else we may do for you? For the best commercial signage and so much more, call Fast Graphics on 225-1099 or 622-7113. If you'd like to change the look of your car, why not wrap it? Call 225-1099 or 622-7113. Why not put your business on a banner stand and showcase all that you can? Call us today on 225-1099 or 622-7113. Fast Graphics, located at 28 Railroad Line Kitty. Call us today, 225-1099 or 622-7113. Giddens Payday Pawn Shop, the pioneer in the pawning business, is back on Rob Street. And Giddens is paying you the highest value for your gold jewelry. Just bring your jewelry into Giddens and get cash. Interest rates are reduced to 20% during this promotional period. Visit the new branch at 37 Rob Street next door to Eagles or call 227-7317. Giddens, the most trusted name in the pawning business. A name you can rely on. Call 231-8600-231-8601, 231-4000-231-4001 for the service that is better than all the rest. Call Confidential Gap, 231-8600-231-8601, 231-4000-231-4001. Confidential Gap, where safety comes first.
Got it. Great. Thanks. Goodbye. Got it? Got what? What did he just tell you? That he'd be in town for two days. Two days? That's nice. How many nights? Isn't two days two nights? Not on the planet hospitality it isn't. Okay, so let me confirm this, Mr. Trent. You'll be staying two nights and checking out on the 16th. Is that correct? Our checkout time is 12 noon. Now, there can be no misunderstandings, right? I guess so. No, so. Speak in terms of nights, not days. Repeat back information. It shows you were listening, attentive, and responsive. Very hospitable. And your rate will be $100. $100 for what? For the room. For the whole two nights? For one night. Well, why didn't I hear that? Yes, your rate will be $100 per night plus tax, Mr. Trent. Is there anything else I may help you with? Be as helpful and detailed as you can be. Don't leave them guessing. Yes, Ms. Gonzalez is in room 112. I'll connect you. Tell me I didn't just hear you give out the guest room number over the phone. Well, I thought I could save them time the next time they call. Uh-huh, and when a stranger comes up to the desk, you know, draw them a map, right? This isn't about saving time. It's about saving lives. It's about guest security. Never give out a guest room number over the phone. Room 23, and may I have the name of the guest you're trying to reach? And if someone gives you just a room number, make sure they have the right name to go with it. I'm sorry, but that person is no longer a registered guest here. You don't want a guest being bothered by someone calling a wrong or outdated number. Hold on, I'll transfer you. Hold what? Transfer to whom? One moment, Mr. Bell, while I transfer you to Miss Watson. Better. Miss Watson, I have Mr. Bell on line three. He wants to discuss a group rate for convention booking. If the call is for a coworker, let them know what to expect so the caller doesn't have to repeat the information. Mr. Bell, I have Miss Watson on the line. She has the information you want. And if possible, introduce the caller to your coworker before leaving the line. Hold, please. You just put someone on hold and you don't even know who it was. I was swamped. Treat all first-time callers like that, and I guarantee you won't be swamped anymore because you won't have any business. And whom may I ask is calling? Mrs. Baker, is it all right if I put you on hold a moment? Thank you. Ask permission to put someone on hold and thank them. It may seem like a lot, but that extra second or two that you spend is the key to treating a caller with respect and courtesy. May I place you on hold or would you like to leave a message? Give them a choice if possible. It might save time later. I'm sorry, Mrs. Tanada, but may I keep you on hold for another moment or would you like to leave a message? And if you still can't get to someone, at least check back and offer them a choice again. I'm sorry, no one's answering. Try calling back later. You're sorry. That's a sorry excuse for not connecting the caller. Take a message or offer to transfer them to voicemail if available. I'm sorry, but no one's answering. May I take a message or would you like to connect to her voicemail? Give them a choice, but some people just don't like voicemail. So be prepared to take a thorough message. Well, let me see if I have this straight. This message is for Clarissa Aldridge from Peter Glenn, 2M. You'll be arriving on Tuesday the 4th. And if there are any other changes to the schedule, call your cell phone at 212-555-6161. Is there anything else? Great. Thanks. You're welcome. Now that, that's a good message. Who wouldn't want all that information? That's good service. That's hospitality. And don't forget to repeat the information back to the caller, especially any names and numbers. Take a break, Melanie. You're doing great. Would you like some coffee? Sure. Yeah, I feel pretty good. I see how important the right attitude is. I think I'm ready to go back in. <laughs> Sit tight. It's almost over. Just a couple more points and you're home free. Meanwhile, drink up.
Things are about to get complicated. Multitasking, it's an ugly word and no one is good at it right away. Multitasking and being polite and courteous, now that's the challenge, but you can do it. And with a little practice, you can do it perfectly. Just stay calm. Remember, it's better to do one thing very well than it is to do four things badly. Be prepared. Make sure you have everything you need right at hand. You usually know your busy time. Have supplies ready so you won't be scrambling when the time comes. I'm sorry, Mr. Shaw. May I place you on hold for a moment? Thank you. Welcome to the Mayfield Inn, sir. My name is Melanie. Are you checking in? Yes. The person you're looking at may already be a paying customer. Give them priority. But try not to leave the caller on hold for more than 30 seconds. Thank you so much, sir. May I place you on hold for a moment? Thank you. If you have several callers at once, ask to place them on hold so and try to respond to them in the order which they called. Remember to wait for a response and to thank them for holding when you pick up the line again. Thank you so much, sir. Mr. Shaw, thank you for holding, but is it okay if I take your number and call you back in a few minutes? If the call requires more time than you have, offer to call them back and give them a specific time in which you will return the call. Okay, thank you. Hi, welcome to the Mayfield and I'm You really only please. have two choices when you're swamped. Put somebody on hold or take a number. Thank you for calling the Mayfield Inn. This is Melanie. How may I help you? There's never any reason to panic. Just make a choice and commit. For the best commercial signage and so much more, call Fast Graphics on 225-1099 or 622-7113. If you'd like to change the look of your car, why not wrap it? Call 225-1099 or 622-7113. Why not put your business on a banner stand and showcase all that you can? Call us today on 225-1099 or 622-7113. Fast Graphics, located at 28 Railroad Line Kitty. Call us today, 225-1099 or 622-7113. Get in Spade A Pawn Shop, the pioneer in the pawning business is back on Rob Street. And Giddens is paying you the highest value for your gold jewelry. Just bring your jewelry into Giddens and get cash. Interest rates are reduced to 20% during this promotional period. Visit the new branch at 37 Rob Street next door to Eagles or call 227-7317. Giddens, the most trusted name in the pawning business. A name you can rely on. Call 231-8600, 231-8601, 231-4000, for the service that is better than all the rest. Call Confidential Gap, 231-8600, 231-8601, 231 Confidential Gaps, where safety comes first. guest or someone calls that speaking another language and you don't understand, don't get irritated or hang up in frustration. I, I'm going to send somebody to your room immediately, okay? It could be an emergency. Take charge of a situation. If you can't handle it, get someone who can. Security.
So your credit card was charged even though you canceled before the deadline? Well, I'm sorry, Mrs. Baker, but I wasn't on shift that day. Don't offer excuses. Offer solutions. When a caller complains, they don't want an excuse. They want you to listen, empathize, and solve the problem. I'm so sorry for your inconvenience, Mrs. Baker. I have your credit card number, and I'm making a note to report this to our accounting department. You will hear back from us within 24 hours. I liked when you told the caller you were making a note. Long pauses can mislead the caller. Always cue them in to when you are writing something down or looking something up. I'm sorry, but our computer's down. May I call you back this afternoon? I, um, I understand, but may I call you back? She hung up. What happened? She was going on and on about what a terrible day she was having, how her car broke down, that sort of thing. And you didn't have a moment to listen and empathize. I'm so busy. Your busyness is being on the phone with that caller right now. Listening with empathy and understanding is at the very heart of phone courtesy. I'm sorry to hear you're having such a bad day, Mrs. Molnar. Perhaps we can make it better. Listen, empathize, apologize, solve the problem, and follow up. That's the magic formula for making an unhappy caller. Well, maybe not always happy, but at least they won't be as unhappy with you or your property. I'm sorry your television isn't working. That must be frustrating. I could have maintenance come by within 15 minutes. Would that be convenient? You gave them a time frame when the problem would be solved. Excellent. Almost perfect. What do you mean almost? What's wrong with the TV? How should I know? You could have asked. Is it working? Is there a picture? Is it snowy? Then you could pass that specific information on to the maintenance engineer, so he'd have a better idea what tools to bring to fix it on the spot. Am I ever going to get this right? You care about getting this right. And that's 90% of what it takes to excel. And when you're excellent on the phone, you really stand out. Oh, great. I'm so glad to hear your television is working. You're very welcome. I have so much to do already. Why do I have to sell, too? When you answer the phone, you represent your property. Your service is part of what the potential guest is buying. When someone loses a call and has the attitude, it doesn't matter, someone else will call, well enough someone else's and you'll have no business. Have you stayed with us before, Mr. Murad? Terrific. Well, we'd love to have you back. Ask questions to determine a guest's needs and preferences. Did you know we've just added a fitness center? Describe features or benefits that might meet the caller's needs. Features such as free movies and a game room for families, okay. or free local calls and computer data ports for the business traveler. We also now feature rooms that are mini suites, complete with kitchen areas and microwaves. Offer alternatives such as different types of rooms and rates, or alternate dates or even another local hotel if you're sold out. Mm -hmm. Is there anything I neglected to describe that would help you make a decision? Encourage them to participate. And may I book that reservation for you? And don't forget, ask for the sale once you've determined their specific needs. Okay, Mr. Murad, let me just confirm back to you the details of your reservation. Your room will be in the name of Mr. Peter Murad, and it's a non-smoking room. You'll be arriving on Monday, October 28th for two nights, leaving on October 30th. The rate is $89.99 plus tax per night. Your confirmation number is 5437B, as in Bravo. This is a guaranteed reservation using the credit card information you've given me. Should you need to cancel, please call us before 6 p.m. on your day of arrival to avoid your credit card being charged. Great! Well, have a safe trip and thanks for choosing the Mayfield Inn. Congratulations! Your phone courtesy skills have come a long way. Your training time here is over, but there's just one more step. Hello, my name is Melanie and I used to be a telephone abuser. Hi. Taking calls used to be an imposition. I never realized how important it was to my job, to my career, even to my outlook on life. I mean, 
My voice is the very first impression most callers get of the hotel where I work. When I use great skills on the phone, when I'm polite, courteous, responsive, and maintain a smile in my voice, I stand out. My hotel stands out. I'm an ambassador for my company. Talking on the phone is a relationship. It can either be a good or bad experience. It's up to me to make it a good one, even a fun one. And if I keep smiling and stay courteous to everyone I talk to, my day goes easier. My life goes easier. Phone is my friend. Courtesy rules. Courtesy rules. Courtesy rules. Hmm, I like that. I think I'm going to remember that. Thanks, Melanie. Thanks for sharing your story. Oops, my phone got to go. Rule number one, answer promptly, right? Thank you for calling the Mayfield Inn. This is Marco. Can I help you? Well, I think you can. I know that's a lot of information, a whole lot of information to take in on one show, but I'm happy that I can help. Again, um, I just received a couple of emails. We're going to start reading it. We're going to make contact with you guys. And of course, the earlier, the better, the more, the, the earlier your booking is, the better it is. Because sometimes one of the things we don't want to do is get into the jam session. So thank you so much. So I know that things are happening already within um, your system. So, again, next week, what we're going to be dealing with is myself, and I'm going to be talking to you a little bit from where we left off on our last training on telephone etiquette. So, the next time we meet, I'm going to be discussing how do I sound on a telephone. That and so much more the next time we meet on Keys to Success. <laughs>